Hey guys, happy Friday night. I don't know, it's like 10.30 at night and I'm Facebook living with you. All right, so we picked up our new nanny tonight and I wanted to describe a little bit about this process and share with you something that she said to me tonight that inspired me to do the video tonight on this particular topic. When we had Augie, we had an au pair come and live with us for two years. Her name was Jenny. She was from Germany. She was amazing. She was actually just here this last week visiting, okay? And um, and then I wanted to get another au pair and Wixter did not want necessarily to have another au pair because he didn't want to have somebody living in the house. Although our house is plenty big to have another person living in the house, they're like living in the house with you, okay? So over the, the course of the last two years, he's like, no, we're just gonna get a nanny and this nanny's gonna be like, you know, long-term permanent nanny. Well, long story short, over the course of the last two years, we've had five nannies, okay? Five nannies. Uh, one that's been awesome and outstanding. Her name was Maria, um, but her husband's in the military and they just moved away. All right, so one that I actually fired in three days, okay? I just remember calling my friend Brooke. I was like, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. She goes, Am. Here's the deal. So, uh, that one didn't last. All right. Um, okay, so finally I was like, this is the deal. Our lifestyle dictates somebody with high flexibility. So an eight to five nanny, you guys, doesn't necessarily work for us, right? So our business is like, we're gone on Tuesday nights and then we're oftentimes gone Friday, Saturday, Sundays, or even like weeks at a time and we need to have somebody be able to have the flexibility to come with us or stay, I mean, we just are like, okay, what about this Tuesday night? Okay, then can you work Sunday morning? Okay, then can you work this Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Oh, you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. So somebody that is a nanny doesn't always love that schedule. So we need high flexibility and au pairs, you guys, have high flexibility, right? Now, they live with you, uh, obviously you pay room and board and then you pay them a fee and the fee is dictated by the government because it's pretty much like a student government exchange program. Uh, but Jenny, our first au pair is like our daughter, right? She's like, I'm like her mom and she wants to come back and live with us and we got to be really close and really great. And Augie still FaceTimes with her. So funny, he's like, where's my sister Jenny? Okay, so then when we decided to, I said to Jason, I'm like, here's the deal. Okay, I'm the one, you know, like, quite honestly, moms are the one that do the hiring and the interviewing and so, it was just like exhausting, you guys. Five nannies over the last two years. I was like, that's it. I'm getting another au pair. Um, now, I think the downside to possibly having an au pair is uh, some of my friends that are adults now, they were like, okay, but I had au pairs and then I got to be really close with them and they were like my big brother or sister and then they left, which I got it. That's probably, I'm, I'm clear and I'm aware of that and Og has this soft little heart, so I am clear and I'm aware of that. So let me just describe the process of intuitively knowing or knowing to the best of your ability if it's gonna be a right fit, okay? So when I decided, I said to Jason, I'm like, here's the deal. Some of you guys know my life went out of control in February and I was like, that's it. I'm at my snap line. I knew Maria was leaving. I'm like, that's it, getting an au pair. So I started interviewing in probably late February, okay? And um, that process is a little bit overwhelming too because when you go in to like find au pairs that might be a right fit for you, there's like thousands of them, thousands, thousands, you guys. So I was like, oh my gosh, how do you narrow this down? So I was like, okay, I don't want somebody that's like 16, 17, or 18 that's possibly gonna get homesick. So I put an age range of like 22 years or older. And then I didn't want somebody that was like fresh, like that had never had a job, right? That was fresh out of like some of these, like high school, right? Or or fresh out of um, college that hadn't worked. So then I, you know, I wanted some work experience. And, and okay, so I had these parameters and then I actually had the company help me filter because it was so overwhelming. Okay, so let me just tell you, initially, like I, I talked to this one girl initially, I'm just gonna give you three experiences, okay? I talked to this one girl initially, and although, like what they do is they create this profile, you guys, it's like a letter to their host family and a profile with all their interests and their likes and their dislikes, and this person like lived on a farm, and you know, farm land, and she had animals, and she, she loved to be in nature, and she didn't love to watch movies, and she didn't spend a lot of time on TV, and I was like, okay, this is good, right? So it's like the stuff that I like valued or wanted them to be able to understand our lifestyle a little bit with Augie, it like fit. Okay, so I interview this girl. You guys, I can't understand her. <laughs> so it's like, I really like her and I really wanna like her. But I told my mom, I go, mom, I just kept saying, what, what? And it's so funny because Augie, our little guy is four years old and he does it all the time. What? What? I'm like, ah, did you not hear me or are you not listening? <laughs> okay, so I was like, okay, I really like her mom. And my mom used to live, my mom and dad, they were in the military and um, used to live in the Philippines years ago, long before I was born. But my mom tells me the story. She goes, yeah, 
you go, she's like, when we lived in the Philippines, which they had, like, everybody, I guess, had, like, a, a like, a, a maid, right, that, like, a, like, a household maid, that, but that came every day, and she's like, your brother and sister could not understand this maid, ever, and I was like, okay, I got it, she goes, it was just constantly a barrier, I'm like, okay, I got that, I got it. okay, uh, then I interviewed this other girl, she's late, okay, so she's messaging, 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 uh, 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 like, we had rescheduled a few times, I was like, uh, okay, okay, she's messaging, well, she finally gets on, you guys. Okay, she gets on, she's late, okay? She has like bright blue, blue nail polish, okay? Makeup, which is awesome. But you guys, I work in a business and I know personality, so I'm kind of identifying this girl. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm planning a surprise birthday party for my best friend. And I was like, okay, I know this personality. And goodness gracious, I want them all over my business. I don't want them as a nanny. <laughs> okay, it was like, okay, they're gonna be late all the time. My house is gonna be a disastrous mess. My kid is gonna love them because all they're gonna do is party. Um, probably not exactly what I'm looking for in a live-in au pair nanny, okay? So scratch that one off the list, okay? Then um, interviewed another one. Now this one wasn't an au pair. This one was like a nanny here locally that was moving to the area that we live in and, and uh, she like comes She's like got this resume. She comes highly qualified and she's like, okay, so she's um, a nanny, you guys, that works for a family that breeds horses for the Kentucky Derby. Okay, I was like, oh, okay, that's great. She's like, she's coming from Kentucky, but she's moving to where I, where I live in Florida. Oh, there goes the dog. See her? Okay. Okay, and, um, and like she travels from Kentucky to the UK and like she's just, she's like comes, okay, like so she comes to our door and I, she's a little bit like me, okay? Me, maybe like a little bit more like, um, it's like she's showing up for a business interview, <laughs> okay? So she's like, she's just like, she's like, hello, uh, uh, hello. <laughs> so I'm like the opposite of like blue nail, pol blue nail polish girl, okay? So she is like, she's just very structured, right? And she, and she, you know, like it's a little bit militant and she's very organized and she like, like sometimes when you bring nannies to the house, you guys, they like sit on the floor and they play with your kids and they're playing trains. Oh no, there's none of that going on. Okay. So I was like, she might also be great for our business. I'm also not so sure she's great for my kid. Does that make sense? And then she's like, and I want $25 an hour. I was like, well, that's steep. Okay. $25 an hour and like three weeks of vacation a year. And I mean, she just had requests. Okay, I was like, not sure that I'm your family, <laughs> okay? Don't breed Kentucky Derby horses, okay? Not of that upper echelon. Okay, so that was the three, okay? Now there were a few others, I just wanted to give you those examples. So then, this is how we chose uh, the au pair in Greenwich. She's just been here for like five hours, right? But we were having this conversation tonight and she was like, I was like, well, how did you choose us? We're like talking to each other. Like, how did you choose us? How do we choose you? And she goes, it took me a long time. I go, well, how long were you looking for, we were called a host family, right? I go, well, how long were you looking for a host family? She goes, seven months. I go, seven months? She goes, yes. She goes, I kept saying to like her, it's like a, a person that's like a, a coordinator or a matcher, right? They match families and au pairs. She was like, kept saying to like my matchmaker, right? She's like, how will I know? How will I know? And they go, you they kept saying to her, you'll know, you'll just feel something. You'll know, you'll just feel something, right? And she was like, okay, okay. And she's like, seven months she interviewed. And she was like, I would, I would, um, I'd interview with the family and I'd be like, mm, don't really feel anything. And then I'd interview with the family and I'd be like, oh, I didn't feel anything. So I said, well, did these families extend you offers? That's like, they, they offer. She goes, yeah. I go, and you turned them all down? She goes, yeah. I'm like, for seven months? Now she's 24 years old, right? And so that probably helps a little bit, but quite honestly, 24 isn't that old, right, you guys? Um, I think I got married at 24. I was like, oh gosh, 24 is young now that I look back at that. So she, uh, so this is how we found her, okay? So on the au pair matching site, because I'm overwhelmed because there's like thousands of au pairs around the entire planet Earth, right? No, I mean, but we did narrow, narrow it down to like either countries, you guys, or languages spoken, but nonetheless, so I, there's a key word, hey mom, how are you? There's a key word area in there that I would start to type key words, okay? So, and then I'd see if any of these people would pop up. So, I, can, I mean, thousands is probably an over-exaggeration and I don't really over-exaggerate, but there's so many 
so many options in there. So I started with keyword yoga, right? Like if somebody likes yoga, I might resonate at the same frequency as them, okay? Nothing under yoga. Then I would type in like meditate, nothing under meditate. So the words that like fit my and Jason's lifestyle, right? I, I'd write those words, okay? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then I type the word universe, okay? And one match comes up and it's her, okay? Her name is Linda. And um, I read her profile, you guys, and it doesn't say much in there, but it does say, I believe that the universe will direct me to the best family possible. I was like, hmm, I'm gonna interview this girl, okay? So on our first interview, we both pretty much knew. She said it too. She's like, oh, I knew on my first interview. I think I was somewhere, you guys, and she sees like a, um, like I have them all over you guys, but I have, I have like this little, you guys see this? Can you see this little Buddha right here? Okay. So um, it's from when Jason and I went to India and we went to the Taj Mahal and the Taj Mahal is made out of like hand carved marble and that is like hand carved marble from the Taj Mahal. And so I have like, I have this yoga room and in this yoga room, you guys, I just have like yoga deities and Buddha and Jesus and Krishna. And then I've got like incense and I've got candles and I've got like, many of you guys have seen it, right? But it's just so, and, and I have crystals. Okay. So she's got crystals and she's like, do you have crystals? I'm like, I do have crystals. Right. And she's like, do you have angels in there? And I have like these little angels and like, I'm like, I do. She goes, oh, can I bring you in my bedroom? Right, we're on, we're on, like you interview these people to come live in your house on Skype, right? Like they don't use FaceTime, they use Skype, okay? So she brings me in her bedroom and she's got this altar and she's got candles and she's got crystals and she's got like, um, you know, uh, Virgin Mary and she's got, you know, a, a, a Ganesh and, and we were both like, okay, we probably both resonate a little bit at the same frequency. So, so then from there on, you guys, you can just, you can just, you know, speak a certain way to people because they're, you're, they're your kind, right? So we we're just talking about that tonight. She goes, it took me seven months. And she said, some of my friends that went to America or other places, right? But to be au pairs, they just wanted to travel so fast that they just took any family. So they would match with a family in like one week or one month because they just wanted to get out of their country and they just wanted to get into another country and they just wanted to start traveling. So she was like, some of my friends, she's like, they didn't match with the best family and they've got challenges or issues with their family, which our, our, our first au pair, Jenny said that too. Jenny's like, oh my gosh, so many of our pairs. You know, some, some have great experiences and some have challenging experiences maybe because they didn't quite take the time to intuitively choose the right family for the right reason. So... Granted, it's day one. We've got 364 more days with this young lady. Um, and whether it works out or it doesn't work out, I think the story of intuitively find a way to connect and at least you'll have a fighting chance.